Hi everyone, this is Emil from iPhonePhotographySchool.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can take your own photos that were taken in a different camera app and stitch them together in one beautiful panorama using the Auto Stitch Panorama app. So before we start, I'm going to go ahead and actually take the, uh, the photos using a different app. So for the fur purposes of this video, I'm going to use the iPhone's built-in camera app Though honestly, you could use any photography app whatsoever and it would work equally good. So I'm going to go ahead uh, and turn HDR on, which is already on. And in, in case you don't know how to turn HDR on, you have to tap the options on the top and make sure that HDR toggle is turned on as it is now. So what, what, what this is going to do is it's going to shoot images in high dynamic range, which should probably look better in these lighting conditions. So we'll go ahead and start taking images one by one from the left side and moving to the right. And to do this well and to make sure that the panoramas look good, it's best if you keep your iPhone in portrait orientation as I'm doing it now. So okay, with, with that said, um, I'm gonna go ahead, set focus and exposure on this little house, uh, this wooden house, and I'll take the first image. Okay, it's saving HDR. And now what I want to do is I want to move the iPhone and take the second image from this panorama series and I want to take it in such a way that about one third of the two images is overlapping. And what helps a lot here is grid lines. As you can see, I, I already have grid lines on, but in case they're not on, you can once again go to options and make sure the grid is turned on as it is here. So if grid is on, it's actually pretty easy. All you have to do is you have to look at the right, the right vertical line in this image, which currently is about in the middle of the little wooden house. And you move your iPhone to the left, so that, to the right, I'm sorry, so that the left grid line is where the right grid line used to be. So once you have that, you just go ahead and take the second image. And this will give you enough overlap so that the two images uh, can be stitched together nicely. Now once again, the same idea. I see that the right grid line is to the right of this pine tree over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move it, move the whole phone, move the phone like this. Once again, if I want to, I can set a different focus or exposure, which is what I'm gonna do here by exposing to the, to the grass. And I'll take the third image. All right, looking good. Once again, move the iPhone by about a third set exposure to whatever I want and take a photo. We'll keep doing the same thing until we're done. And the cool thing is that throughout this process you can, always, you can feel free to change uh, focus and exposure to whatever you want so that the image will always look good no matter where you are in the panorama. Okay. And now one more time. Good. And let's just do this once again for the very last time. Set exposure to house here, or actually to green grass. All right. And now, at the end of this, we have about five or six images that we are going to stitch together uh, in Auto Stitch. So if we go ahead, uh, open up Auto Stitch, go to Select Photos, Camera Roll, we can see the latest series of photos that we just took. And well, I can tell you right now that the first image over here, we're not gonna include because I took it in another app. So we'll go ahead and stitch these images together. And actually we have eight images in total. So it's quite a lot, but I think it's gonna result in a really nice and beautiful panoramic image. So we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so it's preparing images. After that, it'll stitch, it to get, stitch them together, and it's gonna take some time, but I hope the app is going to do a pretty accurate job at stitching them together. And in general, Auto Stitch is one of probably the best panoramic app in terms of how well it can stitch together multiple images into one, into one image seamlessly. So we'll see what it looks like. Okay, and it does look pretty good. As you can see, the stitching is done very, very accurately. I don't see any problems, any mistakes anywhere. So the app has done a good job here. 
Now there is one problem, and the problem is that if you look at the shape of this, it's not perfectly rectangular, and if we actually get, wanted to crop it, as I'll do now, you can see that I lose a bit of uh, vertical space, and that's because the image wasn't a rectangle to begin with, and that's, well, that's because uh, when you take images manually, and if you don't have a tripod, as I didn't have a tripod now, well, then the chances are that they're not that you're not gonna be able to align them perfectly, and so you might have an issue like I had here that the whole resulting panoramic thing just isn't perfectly horizontal. Okay, so now this in this video, uh, Auto Stitch saved this panoramic image using the default settings, and if you go to the settings icon on the top right corner, you can see I had standard resolution and standard blending mode. Now, if I, want, if I really like this image, if I wanted to make sure I get the highest quality possible, I would instead choose advanced resolution, go for 100%, 18 megapixels, and I'll, I'll go to blending mode, select best, and then I would restitch the panorama using these new settings. Now, there is a downside of using such high settings, and it is the fact that with these settings, it could take me up to five minutes until the eight images are stitched together again. But once it's done, you're gonna get the highest quality panoramic image possible. Well, I'm not gonna bother you with waiting for five minutes here, so I'm gonna conclude this video. And yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment uh, under this blog post. And thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.